hello, hello. Oh my goodness. We are in a new week. I'm always excited for new weeks to come in. I am Yvette Benton of Gerald and Yvette Ministries, and it's time. It's that time for Help Me Eat Tips and Sips. For Help Me Tips and Sips. I always spend a little time winding down. We just finished our paparazzi live. It was so much fun. I enjoy being a director with paparazzi, so I got a chance to show off some of the new pieces. I get excited about $5 bling. Hello, hello. Thanks for joining me. $5 bling's never been so cute. So my husband and I are directors with paparazzi, so we had the paparazzi party filled all the orders oh my goodness thank you all so much for being such great customers and now i get to have my sip time it's sip time it's sip time so you already know what we do thank you for those who already jump right into it you declare i'm a help me suitable and i'm sipping so what are you sipping today so you all already know from the title what i'm sipping i got more rose more did y'all see that? Ah, I gave you a sneak peek. Today is Martinelli Sparkling Juice. You got a sneak peek of my new glass. My new glass. Oh, I'm going to let you see it. I'm going to let you see it. But first, I'm going to show you the super cute coaster it's sitting on. Look at that. It says, blessed. Look at that queen. You already know. I'm the queen. That's the coaster. Look at that glass. Look at that glass. This was hand painted. You heard me. Hand painted by Kim McClish. She is an amazing artist. And look at that. She took the cover of the journal. She took the cover of the journal and made me a special Sparkling juice, help me, tips and sips, glass. Thank you, Kim McClish. Kim McClish is on, and I will put her information if you would like a hand-painted, what? Hand-painted glass. She sells glasses and coasters and various things, so she's very, very talented. I've already told you, God sends me his chosen. God sends me his chosen help me. So they all have amazing gifts. And they're help me suitable. So thank you, Kim McClish, who is in the army. Mm-hmm. She's in the army. The help me army. And she's got skills. And she's got skills. So I will put her information after the tip. And you can uh, look at her Facebook page. It's got cute pictures of all the things that she has to offer. Well, so I've got my juice. I've got my blush. And woo, do I have a tip for you? Do I have a tip for you? All right. So I have a tip from my book, Help for the Help Me. So many of you have ordered the book and workbook, Get Started. I have a lot of people who will tell me, oh, y'all see I'm still holding my glass today. A lot of people will tell me, oh, your book is such an easy read. It's um, it's really easy to read. The, there's space in there to write notes. And then sometimes I'll say, well, on, on page such and such, did you try that? Oh, I didn't finish. I'm going to sip on that. Hmm. If you're going to be suitable, you got to finish strong. <laughs> you got to read the whole book. And you got to finish the workbook. And let me be honest. I read. And then I read. And then I reread. And then I study to show myself approved. In order to be suitable, you got to keep reading. You got to keep studying. You got to keep working. I'm just saying. It's just that important. And it shifts just that often. So if you have the book, don't just get the book. Read the book. Study the book. Get the information. Get the information. So, I'm going to sip while y'all think about, did I actually finish the book? Did I go back? 
and reflect in my journal, don't make me. Don't, 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 don't. Don't miss that part. Aw, look at my king. I love him. Hey, king. We had you on as a special guest last week. Now you're, you know, popping on. What are you doing up? That's a beautiful thing. All right, today's tip, today's tip is under the area where I wrote different strategies. Because people message me, they do counseling with me. I do online counseling as well as mentoring. And many of them say, well, what did you do? And I said, in the book, that's usually when I know they haven't finished. Because it's so many strategies. So much information. God downloaded information into me. And let me tell you, it is better the second and third time around. All right. So today's strategy, we're going to focus on some strategies because I'm going to make you declare with fire. Woo! We're going to word, word, word our declarations just so. Mm-hmm. All right. Yes, we got to confess. We got to decree. We got to declare. We got to make sure. So go to GeraldineYvette.com if you don't have the book in the workbook and go find your book in workbook if you've ordered it and didn't finish. Apparently, Holy Spirit wants me to drive that home today. So some of you hmm, wonder why. Okay, the strategy. The strategy on page 73. It says, develop a system that helps you stay consistent and keeping track of what you have learned about your husband's gifts. Now, those of you who are preparing, those of you who are who are waiting and preparing yourself for a husband, you write down some things that are general, like kingdom man, kingdom father, kingdom husband, man of valor. You write down some things. Don't sit back and go, oh, I'm just waiting for God to send. No, start decreeing, start declaring. But those who are already married, you start with things that are general, and then you work your way into, is he creative? Is he uh, an entrepreneur? It has someone prophesied something over him? Do you notice he's really good with people? Do you notice he's really good with um, being a leader? Whatever you know, but develop a system that helps you stay consistent. Key. Mm, let me sip on that. Let me say. You can't be a helpmate suitable and inconsistent. Could that be part of the issue? Inconsistency? Because the devil will have you on fire today and uh, wanting to shoot him tomorrow. Mm -mm, that's double-mindedness. Let's handle that. All right. Because the Bible says that our tongue can become the pen of a ready writer. That means you can call those things which be not as though they were. You write who he is based on what God has said, based on what you know about him, based on who God created him to be. Put your tongue to work for something other than this new glass make me a little feisty today, huh? Give him a cliff. You know it. Mm -mm. Psalm, 50, um, Psalm 45 and 1. Psalm 45 and 1. Your tongue can become the pen of a ready writer. Are you ready to decree and declare? Are you ready to make sure what you say comes to pass? Are you ready to have the information you need? You should be declaring like fire, like fire should be coming out of your mouth. I know who he is. I'm calling him what God said. I'm calling him who God said. And then it's amazing to me. People will say, oh, I don't know anything about him. Now, if you're not married, no problem. Kingdom, leader, father, provider, man of God, man of valor, all of that. You could at least start with that. Put the scriptures to it. No, I'm not giving you the scriptures. Be suitable. But if you're married and you tell me you don't know anything about the gifts of your king, let's start there. Is he good? Is he, is he good with his hands? Is he good with computers? I mean, there are all kinds of things that you can decree and declare about someone. Is he um, kind-hearted? 
Is he uh, great with children? Whatever it is, you've got to be able to find things that are good. You've got to be able to find things that are godly. Even if you don't see it yet, you can dig in and say, okay, God, I see that skill of being a leader. So I'm going to decree and declare that he is a leader. I am on page 73 in the book. Thanks for asking. The strategy is develop a system that helps you stay consistent and keeping track of what you learn about your husband's gifts, about your king's gifts. Your king has gifts. And it's up to you, help me, to declare them with fire. My, my husband is a kingdom man. My husband is an apostle. My husband is a prophet. My husband is an is a entrepreneur. My husband is wealthy. My husband is healthy. What can you say? So let's put some things up today because you've got to be able to declare it like this. Declare it with fire. My husband eats healthy. My husband is wise. My husband uses wisdom. My husband has discernment. My king is walking in, in, in wisdom of God. My king studies to show himself approved. Do you see that it just rolls off my tongue because I practice declaring with fire? Oh, yes. I'm putting it in the atmosphere and I'm being consistent about it. So not a day goes by that I don't decree and declare over my king. I'm going to say it. You all know the rest. Mm. So what can you declare? Yes, my king is a leader. And say it with, with conviction. Say it with fire, not, mm, my husband's a leader. I mean, I guess he's a leader. I mean, no, 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 no. My king is wise. My king uses wisdom. My king knows the word. My king is a man who studies to show himself approved and hides the word in his heart. And he does not sin against God. My, my, my kingdom man is a holy man. Practice and get good at it. Practice and shift the way you think about him. My king is fearless. My king is bold. Oh, yeah, see, you have to understand. My king is a great provider. My king is a wealthy entrepreneur. You got to know. So, this says on page 73, this strategy is key to becoming a, a, a suitable help me. It's key. It is key. I love it. You guys are already practicing. It is key. You've got to declare. And part of the problem is if you're not used to doing it, then when you think about it, you think, oh, I can't think of anything. I'm sorry. I'm going to sip on that. You can't. You can't think of anything? Mm-hmm. Suitable. Suitable. Help me. Yes. I like that. My king is about his father's business. My king loves the Lord with all of his heart, mind, and soul. My kingdom is a worshiper. My king is a worshiper. <laughs> My king is a teacher of the, of the word. You know, think, pray, ask God. Now, I get it if you just start. You only have a short list, but at least start with a short list. And then add to the list. Here's the key. Here's the strategy. Add scripture. You guys have heard me say it. You heard me pray it. On Tuesdays when I'm decreeing something, I'm saying it with fire, with passion. Because I know it in my spirit. Because I know it in my heart. And don't make it always about such negative stuff. Like, oh, my king is no longer uh, bound by lust and perversion. I get that. It's there are times when you do that. But this is about speaking positively about him. So you change your heart. It not only helps you, but it puts it into the atmosphere to help him. It changes your heart. Because if your only prayer is always... My king no longer does this, no longer does that. He stopped doing this. Okay, that's important. Don't get me wrong. I will call down fire about anything that comes after my king. But part of this is declaring who they are in a way that tells the devil you know, that tells everybody you know. And if you're struggling with that, check your heart.
Oh, I like that word. An influencer. See? Now find a scripture. I like that one. Mm hmm Yeah. A man of influence. My king is a man of influence. Oh, I gotta look that. Oh, yeah. See? See what I mean? I like that. My king is an influencer. Say it with fire. And now I'm a char I'm a challenge you. Find a scripture that talks about influencing. That could be someone that helps someone get saved. Someone that helps lead someone to the Lord. That's influence. That's kingdom influence. Now you find a scripture that solidifies that. Something that's, that's in the word connected to that. You, you connect it and you add that to what you're decreeing and what you're declaring. This is the strategy. This is strategy. Help me strategize. Help me to warriors. Help me understand. Uh, the enemy doesn't play fair. So you got to know what you're doing. Got to know what you're doing. So that's the tip of the day. You got to have strategy. So in your journal, there's always places for you to write the help me tip. So the tip today is you got you to gotta be able to have strategy to declare like fire. <laughs> I'm declaring with fire fire. That's the declaration. I'm declaring with fire. Like I'm going to make sure these, these declarations are going to be like bullets to the enemy. I'm going to say it so much. The enemy's going to be like, no, uh, uh, man. I mean, she keeps that. No kingdom man, king worshiper, trust, uh, praise leader. Oh my goodness. You make those declarations like bullets. Pop, pop, pop. Let them come. Let them flow out of your mouth. There you go. Wealthy and wise and smart. Mm -hmm. Speak it. Speak it. Speak it. Well, I'm enjoying Sparkling Juice Blush Martinelli. Sparkling Juice, the blush flavor. And my brand new Help Me Tips and Sips glass, hand painted by Kim McClish. I will put her information um, in the comments. She, yeah, she's declaring with fire. She made me a hand painted glass to match my journal and she is in the help me army all right help me army let's go so declaring with fire so i am declaring with fire i am declaring with fire yes declare you know who he is stop being angry stop being upset and declare who he is go to geraldandyvet.com after you declare with fire, make sure you have your help for the help meet book and workbook. And we have some other resources, some webinars. If you need teaching, information on my mentoring program, the help meet army and one on one counseling. Some people don't realize I do have a master's degree in counseling. I love to assist people. I am a retired educator, so I love to teach. So I teach in my mentoring program and I help work with uh, healing and, emo uh, and emotions and deliverance in my one-on-one -on -one counseling. And all that information is on our website. So go to GeraldAndYvette.com and get the information. Get the help that you need. If you can't do that, make sure you're watching broadcast. Make sure you're reading your book. Make sure you're studying to show yourself approved. This help me task is not easy. It's not for the faint at heart, but it can be done with Christ's help. We can do it. We can do it. And you declare with fire. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I love being a counselor and a mentor. So make sure your tip of the day, declare, declare with fire. Don't, don't be shy. Don't be hesitant. Declare with boldness and watch God work. All right. I'm Yvette Benton of Gerald and Yvette Ministries. Go to GeraldandYvette.com for more help. And I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. I'll try to do a couple days a week with help meet tips and sips. And then I will see you all on Tuesday morning, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for prayer over the kings. We will pray over the kings on Tuesday morning, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Have a good one. I'm a help me suitable, and so are you.